Okay, so now we're going to take a look at how to find an original research article. So for this tutorial, we're going to take a look at Science Daily. Science Daily is an online resource that provides the latest research news, as you can see here. Now that is your first clue that you're not going to perhaps find original research articles here. Instead, these articles that you're going to find are news articles about research that's being done. And you will see when we look at the articles found in Science Daily, they're going to be relatively short. But in this tutorial, we're going to look at one of these articles and I'm going to show you how you can look at the information provided to find the original research article that they're referring to. So as you can see here, that there is a search box that you can insert your keywords or search terms into. But for the purpose of this exercise, I'm going to take a look at one of these top science news articles listed here. So let's click on the first one. So as you can see, this article is relatively short. There's not a lot of information here. It's presented more as a news article. And again, this is Science Daily. It's giving you research news. However, if you scroll down to the bottom here, you can see that the journal reference has been provided. So here is where they're showing you the research that they are reviewing. So looking at the journal reference, you can see they've listed the authors, they have the article title, the name of the journal, and the year it was published. And then here at the end, we have the DOI. The DOI serves as an address, if you will, for that original research article. So let's click on the DOI and go to the research article. Okay, so now we have the original article. So here's the abstract. Again, this is the brief summary of the contents of the article. But we want to click here on the Adobe PDF to download the entire full text of the article. So now this should start to look recognizable as your primary article, your primary source. We have the authors and their credentials listed. Again, we have the abstract, that brief summary. And then going down a bit, we can see that they have the introduction. And in this article, all these sections are labeled. So it makes it easier to identify. And then scrolling through the article, we have the body of the article. This is where they're talking about their research topic. They're talking about methodology they used, data they collected, they're analyzing that data. Here they have a chart representing some of their data they've collected. They've also provided some images that support their argument, that support the article. And then we can also see that this article is fairly long. Again, that is another clue that this is a primary source. You can also see that they have a lengthy list of references here. So this is where they have referred to other relevant research in this area. So keep in mind, not all original research is groundbreaking brand new research in a particular area. Sometimes the point of this conversation that is scholarly communication or research the point is to build upon research that's been done. But in this case, they're presenting it in a new light. They're going about their study or their experiment in a new way in order to provide new dialogue or new communication on a particular research topic. If you're using an article like this for your research paper or a project and you want to find additional relevant research to go along with this article, then you can look through the list of references they've provided and pick and choose and find the ones that sound like they'll be most appropriate to your research topic, to your paper that you're doing. You can use your library's research databases to try to find these articles. If a DOI is listed, then again, that's that direct address. You can put that into your web browser and go straight to that research article. And if you're not sure whether or not your library has access to that, be sure to contact a librarian. Go face to face to the library, use their online chat reference, give them a call, send them an email, and they will help you find and track down these articles and they will show you the most effective way to do it. And if for whatever reason your library does not have access to those articles that you need or some of those articles that you need, there is interlibrary loan. So your library can find those articles for you from another library and it doesn't cost you anything.